uses the Doom. And I feel like Sniper should be able to get this kill. For some reason, his Dragon Lance was it. Okay, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Herald Review. In this one, we have a very wonderful gentleman that we're taking a look at. A man with 5,000 Doom games. Uh, and not only that, but every game, he does a build that I guarantee you've never, ever seen before. Uh, it's it's something. So let's uh, let's check it out. See what he does. All right. So safe lane. What do we got up here? Uh, SF carry Pudge standing in the trees. Presumably missing hooks. We'll go ahead and see. Okay. Yep. That's uh, expected. Uh. Yeah. That is a good point. Lena does have the fiery soul passive, as of course he types lol in the all chat, making fun of the Pudge who's standing in the trees, missing hooks. I hate to be the guy that says this, but he... I, I don't know. This seems a little far away to from the lane to get hooks. We'll see if this pans out. <gasps> oh my god, dude. He's He's gotta be AFK. No, he's not. He's looking for it. Oh my god. This is gameplay. Okay, four minutes. Oh, he's, he's in these trees now. No! No, dude! Five minutes of sitting in the trees, and he's positively rewarded. As Lena gives up on the top lane after dying to the Pudge. And immediately right-clicks Doom twice. And then Doom leaves the lane because he realizes he's being ganked. Yeah. I, I'm not sure if this is a uh, attempted carry-stealing situation here, but uh, PA looks equally confused. <laughs> they actually made a lane rotation... Because they think Ogre, it's like, oh, he's beefy. He's a beefy boy. If he gets hooked into the trees, he'll survive. What's he sending out? He's sending out two infused raindrops. I see. Oh, he's actually going to go bot. All right. This is a good rotation. I like this. Yeah, they're not going to expect this. He was just top, dude. Here we go. Smoke weed every day. All right. Okay. I am a little confused by the Doom items. I thought this was going to be a drums, but now he's got the chain mail, and he's got two crowns. Okay. All right, let's see if they can hit the cookie. Here we go. Maybe, maybe they don't need to. Yeah, I, th I think they don't need to. He's got the ult. He leveled up. Oh, dude, he has 2,362 gold. He could afford an entire spirit vessel if that's what he wants to build. Or a blink. Or a Midas. Just look at this inventory at 10 minutes in, dude. What hero would you think this is? What's coming on the courier? A Blightstone. Dragonlance Blightstone. This man is inventing his own meta. So there's some very weird shit happening with this easy camp. The level 4 ogre. With two infused raindrops, two mantles of intelligence, and two circlets in the backpack. Level 4. Goes down. PA. Okay, I'll take, I'll take a juicy free kill as the ult from the snapfire. Yep, he was not aiming for the guy right in front of him. So PA gets a freebie here. And I guess Doom does not have Scorched Earth. Yeah, he doesn't. Oh, man. Oh, he just needs one right click, dude. Just one. And the Ogre with the slow. Dooms him right before. Will Ogre get the deny? Not if PA runs away from him. Okay. So this does get Ogre his first Null Talisman. So Ogre's getting pretty swole down here. Okay, Abaddon is going for the Crystallis build, so I'm guessing he's going to go for the auto attack on his Mist Coil and try to Daedalus crit in one shot the en entire enemy team. I mean, I like this build a lot, actually. It just requires you to have like six items and to be super high level. It's like a level 25 build. He TPs into the trees. This is his favorite spot, as we know, and because, of course, he has a 13-minute Blink Dagger... Windrunner panics, 
and presses the wind run. But uh, Pudge does not have boots, so he's very slow. But she also does not have boots. They're in the stash. So he can blink if he wants. Yep. Oh, that's rough. It happens. That's really rough. Lena has a broadsword. I really hope this is a shadow blade. I can't believe I'm saying that. But it is Herald, so it could be a fucking blade mail for all I know. Yeah, that's a couple of freebies for Doom. As the uh, the double gank comes in. Alright, dude, he's very he's very tanky on Doom, I will say. He really wants to take down this ogre. After what he did to him in the laning phase. He's gonna ditch the Pudge to go for the ogre. Oh, no. Okay, he's got him. That's why you go for the Atos, boys. That's why you go for the Atos. That was interesting. <laughs> he just turns immediately for the Ogre. Okay. Alright, taking the easy prey. Because he, he knew, he calculated, he would kill the PA. I love that... I love that as Abaddon... TP's bot to gank. Ogre takes that as an opportunity to TP top and farm. So Abaddon... Walks in, breaks the immediate smoke. Pudge doesn't seem to notice. Goes straight for the Windrunner. And how does this end up with a double kill for Abaddon? I see. He's critting for 260 is what's happening. Yeah. So Ogre feels absolutely validated in his uh, decision to go farm Ancients. So Pudge is setting up in the trees. Oh yeah, this is his original victim, dude. Yeah, you think you could escape me? You think you can escape me, bitch? Here's a blade mail. Oh, you're gonna get away? You're gonna get away? That's right. A little uh, smorgasbord of, uh, that's a word, of, uh, of items. I believe Doom is dead. Yeah, that's gonna be him dying to the Lena. But uh, Pudge will follow up with the uh, return kill. Was that a mistake? It looks like it was a mistake for that hook. Uh, but it is very fun to hit hooks, so... Yeah, he bought back, naturally. Can he crit? He can crit. Yep, naturally. Pudge will be going for this. And he misses. Okay, gonna walk in anyway and see what happens. Abaddon does still have ult. Pudge has no detection, so Abaddon could walk away. Yep, naturally he's not going to be doing that. He'll be turning and fighting. Okay, good buyback from Pudge. Very nice. As, uh, yep, Sniper will be walking into the enemy triangle and dying for the fifth time this game. And Pudge there to follow up with the kill. Yep. Only natural that he goes in after the Sniper is dead. That's what Pudge players love to do. Oh! Dude, Doom is really trying to give setup to this Pudge. He's really trying. He's got multiple nets. I feel like Pudge kind of let him down there. Yeah. And Ogre's going to survive. So, PA was actually going to walk away from this. He's like, okay, that creep wave. It's done farming that. Ooh. There's an even bigger creep than I can farm. All right. Yep, right into the tier two. Uh, naturally, Doom had to devour a creep first before he uses the Doom. And I feel like Sniper should be able to get this kill. For some reason, his Dragon Lance was it. Okay. Bit of an itch that the PA might still be lingering. Oh my god, you have balls of steel, my dude. Oh yeah, man fight time. Let's go. Pudge is baiting it, though. Pudge is baiting it. Fuck yeah, dude. Okay, very nice bait. Oh, fuck yeah, Abaddon. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Of course, Snapfire. Not willing to help the Pudge at all. He's definitely AFK, yep. Oh, oh, yeah, that was awesome. And he sees the ogre, too, because he's on the high ground. Fuck yeah, dude. 
Oh, yeah. This is the dream. That was cool, dude. That was sick gameplay. He's totally fine. Yeah. As long as he turns the old rod off there, he should be good. Oh, yeah. Take out the ogre. You know he wants the ogre. No, no, no. Don't go for the PA. Oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. Always go for the ogre. Yep. Way the road. Alright, well, they got the PA. Everybody's stunned temporarily. Ogre's dead. Oh, here's where Abaddon gets to epically contribute. Alright, I'm sad. He went for the right talent on Abaddon. That one is way less cool. Oh my god, he's tossing the sniper in. Of all heroes, and he actually hits it. He actually hits the ogre. Yeah. Alright, there's the blade mail. Just don't hit him on the blade mail, and you're fine. He's dead. SF still has the Aegis. Ooh, that was a nice hook. What the hell? That was a really nice hook. <laughs> I love that Abaddon, like, slowly like, sneaks around. He's, like, thinking about going back in. It's like, dude, just get out, bro. Oh, yeah, keep farming. Keep farming, baby. Pudge knows where he is, dude. He doesn't have vision. He just knows. He's like, this guy's a greedy fuck, bro. The blade mail versus blade mail action. Only healing the Abaddon. Jesus, that is a long Abaddon ult. He's got eggs. He ate it. As PA jumps in on the Aegis guy. So he does go down. PA still has BKB. Instantly kills the Snapfire. Do they have any detection? I don't think they do if he doesn't walk over a sentry. Yeah, he should be fine. I love that this Pudge has no fear whatsoever. That's the first time that I've said that, I swear. PA, on the other hand, is very afraid. Uses the BKB. Doom and PA manning up on each other. There's the Halberd. Doesn't work against the PA dagger, though. And, okay, that is... Ooh, can SF do it? Can he solo carry the game 1v5? He crits the Lina. Lina is dead. Uh, yeah. Uh, looks like they're going to be watching their throne die here. At least we're going to get to see Pudge do some fun action right before the throne dies. Oh, yeah, baby. And he's fucking dead. Has buyback. He can't use it. He did use it, actually, right before the game ended. So at least he gets to be the only one that's alive at the end. Ban anybody that mentions Al Yankovic. Get them the fuck out, dude.